Well, I didn't always believe in astrology. Uh, I thought it was a lot of nonsense, but a friend of mine <clears throat> got a reading, and uh, she told me it really worked out well, and I trusted her judgment. So, uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. I mean, I had one eyebrow raised, I didn't expect any miracles from it, but I made an appointment, and I went. Changed my mind. It changed my life. I, I the reading was so accurate. I got paranoid. I wanted to know how long she'd been talking to my friends, how long my phone had been tapped, if she'd been reading my diaries. I, I just it really it just threw me for a loop. Well, um, now I had to figure it out because I I, I didn't understand. I just had given her my birth data and. Uh, I wanted to know what her secret was, like what, what magic was this? So I, I started buying astrology books one after the other, reading them through, applying them to my chart, applying them to my friends' charts. I got to know my friends better than I thought, but I kind of knew them to start with. But it all really changed for me when I did a stranger's chart. That's, that changed everything. Well, it's one thing you do your friends' chart or you do your own chart. You kind of know who you are and you kind of know who your friends are. But a total stranger, I, I don't know anything about them. So that's what really proved astrology for me, because if I could do a stranger then, and, and do a good reading, and I did do a good reading, then I felt comfortable enough to start doing readings professionally after that. Well, not everyone needs to have an astrology. I think if, if you're the kind of person that's dealing with your life, and things come up, you can handle them, and, and just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing fine. But if you want a bigger picture of your life, or if you're confused and you're going through difficult times and you want just a directional look or something to examine, then find yourself a good astrologer and have your chart done. A basic astrology reading, a good basic astrology reading should give you a good overall picture of your life, of your skills, of your strengths. It should ID where you can trust yourself and it can also point out those areas where you need to be more careful, where perhaps you're not on familiar ground, you have to take it one step at a time and maybe need to grow and evolve a bit more before you can feel comfortable. Well, some do and some don't. Some have gotten distracted along the way or forgotten what they've known. It's, uh, it's hard to say. But even if you, you do know yourself well, a good astrology reading can give you a, an entirely new look at yourself. It's like taking a view from a different angle and uh, it can give you new ideas and new thoughts about yourself but you've just never looked at yourself that way. Should? Oh no. I can, I can suggest what might work best. I can give you an idea of what paths might be easier than other paths. Maybe you might want to try this instead of that. But ultimately, it's about free will, and you have to make your own decisions in life. I'm just there to help give you some guidelines of what might work best. Yes and no. Uh, I cannot tell you on July 12th you're going to have a car accident or that you're going to get married on your 23rd birthday. Uh, the kind of statements I make are more like a weatherman where he can predict there's going to be a rainy afternoon. You can choose, do I take an umbrella, do I wear a raincoat, do I change my plans, or do I just go out and get wet? Those are the choices you make given them what the predictions are. So I can turn to somebody and say, you know what, in the fall, you're going to be full of energy for a few months. You're just going to be able to get a lot done. You're going to be feeling rambunctious, and that's wonderful. But you might be a little overly rambunctious, and as a result, by not taking, being careful, maybe not being thoughtful enough, you might have an accident. That's the kind of prediction I can make. Well, in situations like that, I would first start by asking for a general time frame, like do you want to get married in the fall, or do you want to buy a, when are you going to be buying the house? 
And then I'll look over a few good dates and I'll make suggestions on what dates might be better for this or that, and then I'll make a choice. Nothing's perfect. Uh, ideally, you'll find where the problems are and how to get around them before, before they actually happen. But nothing is perfect in life, and if you think astrology is going to make your life a complete breeze, it's just not going to happen because honestly, I don't know anybody's life that's smooth sailing from start to finish. Okay, what you need to do is you have to get up, get together your birth information, which is your birth date, your birth year, your birth time, and your birth place. And then you find a good astrologer. And once you've found a good astrologer, you may want to stop and reflect upon why you're going to see the astrologer. Is there a specific event coming up that you want to get a handle on, make sure it happens the best possible way? Or are you looking to forecast the future, or the next two or three years, what's coming up, what do I have to deal with? Uh, are you looking for a, a personality profile, a character analysis? So you know where your natural talents are, where your strengths are, where to be careful. Or even, you could be having problems in your life. You're just hitting the brick wall with love and you're not getting anywhere. Or perhaps your career isn't quite working the way you want it. Or, or even something as simple as, or, and as complex as becoming a parent for the first time. Where do you go from here? How do you handle it? These are all questions that any good astrologer should be able to help you with. I hope you can come to the next Practical Mysticism Expo. It's our third year. We're constantly growing with new ideas and new things to get excited about. I think you'll enjoy yourself. I'll be there, and I'm looking forward to meeting you.